Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to show you a really awesome tool you can use to check your printed circuit board design files that you send to the manufacturer. You want to do this check before you send them to the manufacturer so that you have as few errors and emails uh, coming back at you telling you you did this wrong or that wrong, okay, as possible. So let's take a look. Once you've created your Gerber files or ODB++ files or your IPC2581 files, send this to somebody else on your team so that not only you have that other person's perspective, but also the other software tool. If you don't have a person on your team other than yourself and you're just doing it yourself, this is still a good check to do on your own, okay? And I'm going to select a design I did. We'll call it dummy design for confidentiality here. And I'm going to hit next. So it brings in the design and it brings up this window and you hit next and everything. So now we're going to look at this. We have a switch, we have a chip and devices and everything. And what you can do is uh, you can look at the nets, some of the net names. You can do a DFM check. Let's take a look at the net tools. You can do a netless extraction. Sure, yeah. Hit next. And then you can see the net name. So let's drag this window up. You can see the length of the nets, right? Very good. And then it shows you the area on the lower left of uh, what nets are being selected. It also sh shadows out these certain things. All right, so that's pretty cool. Now let's take a look at, um, if we select all, great. Let's do a DFM check. This is the main thing. But before we do a DFM check, you want to set up your rules. Now PCB manufacturers, they're going to have their certain set of rules, clearance from the board edge, minimum annular ring. You know, they're gonna check all of these things to make sure your PCB can be manufactured. So I'll select a few of these, right? You could do a standard PCB check. Uh, what, let's do complete. Let's do standard PCB, right? And then it pre-selects all of these things. So now hit finish. And then you want to do your DFM check. Hit yes, yes. And CAM engineers, that's what we call them, CAM engineers who check your printed circuit board output files. They really appreciate when we take the extra time or you take the extra time as PCB designers to make sure you fall within tolerances for what's manufactured and design accordingly. Okay, because there's going to be this back and forth and nobody's perfect really. There's always going to be a back and forth usually, but we want to minimize the back and forth when we submit a design to the manufacturer. Like for instance, I spent probably like a week and a half fixing small little errors that I could have fixed or picked up during my design process actually. But anyway, so we don't want to lose or waste that kind of time. All right, so you can do a next here, then finish. Yeah, then it'll let you know what kind of errors you have, like the minimum trace width. See, it points it out. It says, oh, that's not good. That's not good. It's just so convenient. Then you can take screenshots here, or at least the cam engineer can take screenshots. Set the minimum pad size. It says, oh, oh, we got a problem over here. And then they'll send you the report and say, hey, you know, you need to fix this. You could save your workspace and all of that. So Fab 3000 is a fantastic software tool. This is what the, this is one of the many software tools you can find that CAM engineers and manufacturers use to look at your PCB output files and see if it has any manufacturing issues. Now, what's great is you can get professional PCB design software that does a lot of these checks for you as you're doing the design, right? This is really how you want to approach PCB design. You want to take care of design for assembly, design for fabrication, design for manufacturing, and design for test issues while you're designing your printed circuit board so that by the time you're done with your PCB layout, you have few to zero things you need to change by the time you send it to the manufacturer, all right? 
It requires a bit more work up front, but it's totally, totally worth it because I, I don't know if your client is going to be uh, paying you for mistakes you've made, okay, when you submit the design, all right? Uh, if you have any questions or comments or your own experiences with doing the back and forth dance and game with the uh, design for manufacturing uh, and, and, and cam engineers and whatnot, let us know in the comments in the description below or feel free to ask me any questions you have about uh, using these kinds of tools. I wish I had this kind of software tool, like it was this sophisticated when I was milling out printed circuit boards for people who would send me their files when I worked as a cam engineer and CNC operator. But anyway, uh, see you later.